Welcome, everyone. I'd like to read a verse to you from Psalm 25. This is a Psalm of David, and verse 11 reads, For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it is great. Here David, who's described in the scriptures as a man after God's own heart, admits that his sin is great, that though he trusts in the Lord and follows him, that he continues to be a sinner. And for that reason, he calls upon the name of the Lord. And notice he doesn't call upon the name of the Lord to forgive him because of anything that he, David, has done. He doesn't say, look at all the good things I've done, Lord, and count those as greater than the bad things I've done. No, he says, for your name's sake, O Lord, I'm asking you to forgive me. And though David wrote these things a thousand years before Christ came into the world, what he says about this is the same for us today, that we are people who trust in the Lord by God's grace, and yet we are people who are also sinful. In fact, we could consider our sins to be great. And so when we go to the Lord, we are able to do that, not because of what good we've done, but because of who the Lord is. And we ask the Lord to forgive us for his name's sake, or the way that we as New Testament Christians would say, we would ask the Lord to forgive us for Jesus' sake. It's all because of what Jesus has done that we can have the forgiveness of our sins. It's all because of what Jesus has done that we can have life ever, everlasting. And that is what we have in him. Here in the season of Lent, we focus on how Jesus suffered and died for our sins, how we are people who fall short of the glory of God. And so this verse is very appropriate for us in this season of the year. And indeed, it's appropriate for us every day of the year. Because every day, this is true, that we need God's forgiveness and that he does forgive us. But not because of what we've done, all because of what Jesus has done. Jesus took your sins and mine on the cross. And three days later, after dying, he rose from the dead. Also, that we would be people who know him and walk with him who are forgiven by him, and who become his children, members of his kingdom, heirs of eternal life. And for all of this, we thank him. Let's pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your word and how you speak to us the truth in your word. It's true that we are sinful, that our sins are great, and it is true that you are our Savior. And so we ask you, Lord, for your sake, for the sake of Jesus Christ, your Son, to cleanse us and forgive us, to bring us to eternal life. We thank you for this marvelous gift, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings to you.